In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can take that cyberpunk composition that we made yesterday and create a video within Photoshop breaking down all of those individual layers. Let's check it out. What's up everybody, Jason Ortega here with Blended Graphics. Welcome to day number 8 in our 30 days of Photoshop. I hope you've been enjoying these videos so far. Today is going to be a bit of a shorter episode, but I think you'll like it just as much. If this is the first video of mine that you're watching, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you too can join in all the Photoshop fun. If you watched the video yesterday, this one's going to be in continuation of that composition. What I personally like to do with a lot of my work is I like to create a video within Photoshop where I can break down all these individual layers and that way you can see what my process is like for these compositions and then I like to take that video and upload it to Instagram and if you go onto my Blending Graphics Instagram account you'll actually be able to see with especially with my more recent post what I'm talking about and seeing this video breakdown of the layers so without any further ado let's jump right into this so you can make one for yourself Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to turn off all of those layers except for the ones that you want to use as your very first base image. And then go ahead and create a new layer at the very top. And once you've done that, if you're using a Mac, go ahead and press Shift Command Option E or PC Shift Control Alt E and whatever layers that are still visible are going to merge together in this empty layer. And essentially, we're just going to recreate this process over and over again, continuing to add those new layers at a time that you want to see as part of this process. So the very first thing that you can do is now add a new layer in and then turn off the layer below it and then go ahead and turn on the new layers that you want to see as part of this next step. And then you're going to merge all of those layers yet again into this layer. And I'll do another one with you. We'll add a new layer and turn the one below it off. And then let's just go ahead and toggle on those new layers that we want to see as part of our next step. I want to turn this background layer in. Okay, let's go to the top, highlight that layer, and then merge these together. And as we do this, continue to make sure that every time that you're merging these layers together, that the very top layer is the one that's highlighted, or else you're going to have all these merged layers somewhere else in your composition. And I'll do one more with you for good measure. New layer, turn the one off below it. Let's add in our next layers for this step. Okay, then we'll highlight that top layer and then merge them all together. And if you're doing this while watching the video, go ahead and continue this process over and over again to get all of those steps that you want to see showcased. I'm going to go ahead and just skip right to the end. Okay, once you have all of your layers in place, what you want to do is click that top layer. And then we're going to scroll down to the very first that we worked with, holding down shift click on that so we can highlight them all. We're going to right click and then we're going to press duplicate layers. From here in the drop down menu, we want to click new and then you can just give it a title. And then once you have that, hit OK. This will take us into a new document with just those layers. Um, from here, go up to window and we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says timeline and we're going to click on that. And then at the bottom drop box where it says create frame animation, we want to click that. After that step, let's click this little icon on the right and then we're looking for make frames from layers and then go ahead and click that one. This will then turn all of those individual layers into its own frame. So after we do that step, we want to go ahead and highlight all of these frames as one. We can then click that drop down menu below the frame and this will give us um, a different amount of time that we want to use for each of these frames. I personally like to set them at one second each. And then right where it says forever, we want to click that. And instead of forever, we just want to change it to once. Or if you want it forever or three times, you can do that as well. I just like to do once. And now you can come down here and press play and watch your animation of your layer breakdown video. I love doing this. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so once you're ready to export your video, uh, you can come up here to File, and then we're going to go down to Export. And then from Export, we're looking for Render Video. And once this go ahead and populates, I personally don't like to change any of the settings on here. 
You can if you want to. I just leave it as it is. It works pretty well in my favor. Uh, if you want to give it a title for this, you can. And once you're okay with all these settings, you want to go ahead and click render. And that's going to go ahead and render all of these layers together as well as send it to whatever save destination that you had listed. And from this point, if you want to upload it to Instagram, you would just do it as if you would with any other image. And that's going to wrap up our day number eight video. I really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and I hope to see you again tomorrow.